Shell started to extract oil from Ogoni in 1958. Suppressed and impoverished by despots and severely affected by oil pollution, Ogoni is a small, densely populated area on the Niger Delta. The Ogoni people had felt powerless to defend their farmland until 1990. The movement for the survival of Ogoni people, known as Mossop, was formed to campaign for ethnic minority rights and an end to 35 years of oil pollution. By 1993, Sarawiwa had become president. We are going to demand our rights peacefully, non-violently, and we shall win. In that year, 300,000 people took part in peaceful marches on their cultural festival known as Agoni Day. He cursed the earth for spouting oil, black gold they called it, and he cursed the gods for not drying the oil wells. What did it matter that millions of barrels of oil were mined and exported daily, so long as this poor woman wept those tears of despair? What could he look into later? Could he make alternate land available? And would the lawmakers revise the laws just to bring a bit more happiness to these unhappy wretches whom the search for oil had reduced to an animal existence? They ought to send the oil royalties to the men whose farms and land were despoiled and ruined, but the lawyers were in the pay of the oil companies and the government people in the pay of the lawyers and the companies. So how could he look into it later? He should have told the woman to despair, to die, not to live in death. That would have been more honest. To deny a people the right to self-determination for well on a hundred years is to subject them to slavery. To take away the resources of a people and refuse to give them anything in return is to subject them to slavery. To take away the land of a people who depend solely on land for their survival and refuse to pay them compensation is to subject them to genocide. I accuse the ethnic majority who run Nigeria of practicing genocide against the Ogoni people. I accuse the oil companies which prospect for oil in Ogoni of encouraging genocide against the Ogoni people. I accuse Shell and Chevron of practicing racism against the Ogoni people because they do in Ogoni what they do not do in other parts of the world where they prospect for oil. The devastation of the Ogoni countryside, the complete destruction of the Ogoni ecosystem, the dehumanization of the Ogoni people, the denial to them of education and other health facilities and other social amenities, all these together have led the Ogoni down the way of extinction. I accuse the Nigerian government and the international, multinational companies which prospect for oil in Ogoni of genocide. I appeal to the international community, to the British government, the American government, the Japanese government, the countries of the European community who buy oil from Nigeria to come now to the aid of the Ogoni people and stop this genocide.